Hey looters, I'm Pete. It's Wednesday, November 25th, AKA the day before you give thanks for turkeys not being made America's national bird so we can eat them. In your face, Ben Franklin, it's time for your looter news. A League of Legends scripted web series is on the way to your computer soon. Want to know more? So did we. So we talked to Mo Darwich, AKA the executive producer and creator of The Legends. Hey, what's going on, looters? We're sitting here with Mo Darwich, the co-creator of the show, The Legends, which is the new show about the esports, right? The yes. League of Legends. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the uh, inception of the show and what your involvement in it is. So I'm the co-creator along with my buddy Scott Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, the Legends, imagine it as like entourage meets esports with a sprinkle of Silicon Valley. So Which we all love. Yeah, so we created it, you know, about a year ago. I got turned on to the world of esports. Scott, actually our co-creator, uh, his brother was the biggest League of Legends fan. They weren't yeah. that close growing up, and then all of a sudden they started playing League of Legends together, and it kind of brought them together in this heartfelt way. Uh, so Scott's a, a fellow filmmaker. He's actually an Emmy-nominated filmmaker. I've produced a ton of stuff. I've also worked as an actor on shows like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and, mm -hmm. and uh, CSI. But uh, we got together and we're like, dude, let's make this show on this amazing world. Once we started diving into it, we just realized how rich the world is. Like imagine like five, six guys living in a house, gaming all the time, yeah. having to deal with each other, coming from different backgrounds. All this happening while you're 18, you know? Mm -hmm. Your hormones are flying, you don't even know who you are yet. So we're like, this is the perfect place to tell a story. High drama. High drama, man. High drama. And, and you know, for us, it's like, we understand how protective the world is mm -hmm. of the game. We understand how serious they take it. And esports itself, And esports itself, yeah. It's like, if you look at the production value of it, it's up there with ESPN, some of these productions. Yeah. So the way we wanted to do it to do it justice is, the gameplay is super serious, super intense. Mm -hmm. Like we take the gameplay extremely seriously. The in between moments, that's where we get to have the fun. That's where we get to kind of, you know, make fun of ourselves a little bit and and have a good time with it. And what's great is that we have partnered with some really great people, Luke Crate being one of them. Mm -hmm. And Team Liquid Team as well. Team Liquid being another one. We're talking to other teams, DX Racer, which is amazing. I think you guys know them too. Mm -hmm. But we've like we've added all these great people at leadership positions that really love the game, that are like platinum players, that are diamond players, who are all going through our scripts and really giving us the right notes to make sure we stay uh, as That's authentic great. as possible. That's yeah. great. Sort of uh, uh, people who are keeping you guys in check, making sure that everything stays on track so that yes. the fans are happy, right? Yeah, exactly. You said you have a lot of experience doing um, uh, different content on the web, yeah. being a writer, uh, an actor, producer of all mm -hmm. sorts. How do you think you're going to take all of your uh, post filmmaking expertise and apply it to a show that's mainly about gaming? You know, in general, with how web is and, and web storytelling, you don't necessarily get the longest time to tell true, a story, right? True. And the attention span of, you know, people, especially, mm -hmm. you know, gamers, where they have these twitch reflexes, where, mm -hmm. like, everything is, like, super stimulation as fast as I can. You need to so, cut every five seconds just totally, to keep people happy. Totally. Yeah. So, luckily, you know, I kind of grew up in that YouTube world. That kind of version of fast storytelling, of you know, cost-effective storytelling, all those kinds of things, I'll be able to bring to this format. Now it's like, you know, the the underdog story is not a brand new story, right? right? It's been told before, but it hasn't been told yet in like an esports type of way. Yeah. And what I love about esports in general is anyone could create a challenger team, right? Anyone could make mm -hmm. their way through the ranks. Right. Anyone could take a shot at the NALCS. And you don't have to be taking steroids all no, day just to no, compete with everybody. You, you can actually. just, you know, you can stay inside, <laughs> you can work hard, you know, you can stare at a screen all day yeah. and you can become a champion of that, right? True. But as more money pours into it, it does sort of shift, right? It does, it shifts everything, right? It's so crazy. You know, I tell people the space reminds me a lot of what YouTube used to be, right? Yeah. When I first got into the YouTube space, it was a bunch of just like, you know, cavalier kind of like, this is the wild, wild mm -hmm. web, Entrepreneurship, you know, entrepreneurs craziness. Individualism. Yeah. And then it got kind of corporate as the money started pouring in. What's great is I go to these esports events and it reminds me of the old YouTube days, right? That's it's great. like entrepreneurship. It's all these like young up and coming companies 
that are you know making a name for themselves. Um, you mentioned uh, a couple other people who you're working with. Yeah. Um, you mentioned the co-creator. Who else is on board that you uh, want to give a shout out? So uh, we got Steven Snoop A. Ellis on board. Uh, he was he's big a, League of Legends player, right? Big League of Legends player, ex pro, was with Counter Logic mm -hmm. Gaming. He's kind of come on as our quote unquote Mark Wahlberg. Uh, <laughs> he's the he's the good looking dude who lived the life who you. we loosely base a lot of our work on. That makes sense. Um, we brought on this gentleman Jordan Rambis. Uh, he is a son of Laker great Kurt Rambis, but he's also extremely close with the head leadership at Riot, and is kind of working as our as our liaison between Riot to make sure that we you know stay as authentic as possible and can keep the message pure. That's you know, great. Riot Riot does a a great job with their game. They do a great job of allowing their fans to create their own content mm -hmm. around the game mm -hmm. and their intellectual property. So for us, it was just important to have somebody that is basically uh, knows their voice and could help speak that on the project so we stay within line. Absolutely. And I think most of us here in the office are talking about how uh, a show like this really feels like it's a part of the zeitgeist movement. Like a lot yeah. of us have been waiting for an esports show yes. for a long time. Yes. You know? Or, or a, a, a show of quality, a show of... Uh, you know, that's really gonna give the inside look that, that we think the general public might need uh, yeah. to showcase how exciting esports can be. So would you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with it 100%. And, you know, when we originally made this project, we, we had thought about taking it to traditional networks. We're like, wow, this is a great idea. It's right for it right mm -hmm. now. The time is now. And we realized if we go to a network or somewhere else, they don't know this world. They don't know this story. They're gonna give us notes. They're gonna wanna change things yeah. and it's gonna come off as something that's not authentic to the community. So that's actually why uh, we decided to do the Indiegogo campaign. It's like we wanted to make this show for the community with the community's help and we wanted to keep the message pure. So by going that route and allowing the, the community to help fund us, then we can guarantee those things happen. That's fantastic, man. Thank you hey, for dude, stopping by. Thanks Best for luck having me, show. man. I love this place. Um, so head over to Indiegogo.com, check out The Legends, uh, and uh, this is our pal. And that does it for your Looter News today. So tell us, what did you think about The Legends? Let us know in the comments and make sure to check the description to see if you were Monday's three month of loot winner. Like, subscribe, and have a great Thanksgiving. I am thankful for you, but it.